Hey guys, welcome back. I hope you had a really great weekend. So last week we had a four day trading week and we started the week on Tuesday with a gap down and the sentiment was bearish going into last week because we had hot inflation data the week before. Both CPI and PPI came in hot and that weighed in on the open. So we saw that gap down and then right away you could see the 35 EMA cross underneath the five minute 200 moving average. And Tuesday and Wednesday we did trade down until we got to this gap right here. This gap was from February 13th going into the 14th. So the Valentine's Day gap right here. As soon as we close that, we bounced back up. And that was also in preparation for NVIDIA earnings. We had an extremely low volume day leading into that move. And then right in that last 30 minutes, we saw a huge push up and literally we doubled the volume of the entire day. So that takes us to Wednesday. We see NVIDIA earnings and they came in fantastic. So the next morning, Thursday, we gapped up $6 and then we saw a push up to make new all-time highs. And then we closed just a little bit underneath those new all-time highs. And then that takes us to Friday. Friday, we opened with a gap up. And then from there, we actually came back down and closed that gap. And as we closed that gap, you could see Stupid Willie was showing a bearish divergence. If you trade using RSI, then it was definitely clear here as well. We saw that up gap Thursday, and then as we pushed up, we already started losing strength right here. And then that Friday up gap was even lower right here. So bearish divergence Thursday going into Friday. So it makes sense that we saw a pretty sideways trading day. And usually after a big move like that, we do some consolidating while we wait for the 35 EMA on the 30 minute time frame to catch up. So big up day Thursday, Friday was flat. And that is really true across time frames. You can see very clearly that we don't trade very far away from this level ever. SPY closed pretty flat, up 0.07%. VIX closed down 5.44%, big move there and we did stay completely within the implied move. And switching over to QQQ, we saw a very similar open to the week. We opened with a gap down, and then we dropped down to the one hour 200 moving average. And towards the end of Tuesday, we saw that cross down right here. 35 EMA was our resistance. Wednesday, we saw another gap down, and then we dropped underneath the one hour 200 moving average and there was a gap right here and that went back to February 1st going into the second. As soon as that gap got filled, we popped back up. This again was right before Nvidia earnings and that gapped us up $8 going into Thursday. Huge up gap and it actually took us up to the CPI gap. So that hot CPI data right here Nvidia knocked that gap out and we pushed up two all-time highs. We did not make new all-time highs in QQQ on Thursday, but we did open on Friday with a gap up and new all-time highs at 440.65. And then we dropped back down and had a similar sideways day in QQQ. We did close a little bit lower than SPY, down 0.29%. VXN closed down 0.75% and here as well we did stay completely within the implied move. Alright guys, on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is my voice from this cold? <laughs> Alright, let's go check out tomorrow's levels. Alright guys, so before we head into tomorrow's trading ranges, if you find these videos useful, if they help you pick better strikes and make better trades, then please consider giving this video a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing about your guys' successes and the lessons that you've learned, 
and your opinion on what's coming up, so please leave me a comment. And also make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications, that way you get this video before the next day's trading starts. All right, so starting in SPY, the implied move for tomorrow is between 505 and 510, and the 30-day average volatility is a few dollars wider. We did have a lot of big days lately, 502 to 513. And to the upside, the first level to look for is going to be the new all-time highs that we made on Friday. That is at 510.13. And then the top of the implied move, I have it at 510, but the real value is at 510.60. And that is to the upside. And to the downside, the first level to look for is going to be the 35 EMA. Currently that is at 505.31 and it is angled slightly up. So I would think if we do drop that it would be a support even if temporarily. We do have a cross down right here. So perhaps we see a little bit more downside. But right now the momentum here is still up. So maybe if we're scalping a quick touch down here and up, and then the bottom of the implied move is 505. If these levels break, then we do have this $6 Nvidia up gap and the down gap. So these gaps right here with that 30 minute 200 moving average could be a level that we see within by Monday or Tuesday. 30 minute 200 moving average has been a known support all year. So I would definitely be looking to that level right here, right here, and that level is right here. If we zoom out, we could see that it has been a support quite a bit. So 30 minute 200 moving average should be on your radar if we do drop. So that is SPY. Switching over to SPX, we have the implied move here is between 433 and 440, and that is from options. And the 30-day average volatility is just a little bit wider, 431 to 441. And to the upside, the first level to look for is going to be all-time highs and because the wick on that first candle is so wide i would also add uh, 439.70 so 440 as well right here this is 440.61 and the top of the implied move i have it as 440 the real value is 440.34 so all-time highs are just outside of the top of the implied move. And then to the downside, 35 EMA is right here. Currently it is at 435. And then underneath that, we do have this insane gap. I have to say that I don't think I've ever seen this quite this way with two down gaps and a huge up gap and then 30 minute 200 moving average with one hour 200 moving average. This is going to be crazy. If we drop down below the 35 EMA, then I'm gonna be targeting down here. But for tomorrow, the bottom of the implied move 433, and then we have that 30 minute 200 moving average at the very bottom of the trading range. Momentum here has shifted down as well. That doesn't mean that this 35 EMA can't catch as a support. So there you have it, guys. The trading ranges for tomorrow. Have fun. Trade safe. Make sure you take profits when you're up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.